But this mystifying footage pales in comparison to what has been captured here, in Greencastle, Indiana. This weird tale begins with these two men, Guy Winters and Terry Lambert. For years, Guy and Terry have heard rumours about a haunted mansion on the outskirts of town. People have seen a ghost of a female, an apparition that would drift down the lane that led to this old house. Intrigued, the men decide to investigate the deserted house with their own cameras. This is the actual videotape from that unforgettable night. Storms going, lightning crashing. Lightning like I've never seen. It was like dripping plastic out of the sky. Really strange. And we find the trees there with this big two-story old brick mansion, abandoned, kind of dilapidated looking. Unaware of what awaits them, the guy and Terry go inside. I think the only shadow through the house, so it was pretty eerie. And basically, we took a series of pictures all through the house, upstairs, downstairs, stairwells. Terry claims that he then ventured back outside to take more photos. I took a series of three pictures of an upstairs window. And after I took that series of pictures, I went around to the back of the home and I took a picture of the doorway. Still in the house, Guy continues his investigation. But suddenly, he feels that he is no longer alone. I felt this presence come over me. And the smell was like sulfur and roses. Real, real strong smell. You hear that? Heartbeat. Bump, 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 bump. And this heartbeat was in my head, but it wasn't my own heartbeat. I really felt like I was dying. This feeling of anxiety was just overwhelming. And I was afraid I wasn't going to make it out of there. Guy and Terry run from the house, afraid to stop until they reach the safety of their van. But this ghost story is far from over. When Terry develops the film from his still camera, he's shocked by what he sees. Three consecutive pictures of what appears to be a woman glowing in a pink light, floating in the second story window. Another pink shape is captured at the back door. Pretty much it blew me away, I have to say. I've never seen anything like that on film. Could this be the ghost of Greencastle, or merely a photographic abnormality? To find out, Guy and Terry showed the pictures to their friend, photo expert Mick Orman. What is in the picture came from the negatives. It's very interesting, and a little unnerving. Next, these mysterious images were analyzed by a computer graphics expert, Sean Dempsey. It's during Sean's high-tech examination that the photograph reveals another startling secret. And then I tried something called bass relief, which basically takes the, uh, the light and dark parts of the picture and emphasizes them. And I got the creepiest thing from this one photo. Her face, and I don't know how else to describe it, but that to me just looks like a skull. I've got to be honest, it's either a real photo of a ghost or it was done with a photographic technique that I don't know about. With experts at a loss for answers, Guy and Terry have their own theory. They now believe they photographed a real ghost. But if it's true, then whose spirit is it? Guy believes that the pink lady is a woman who lived and died here in the early 20th century. Her name? Irene O'Hare, the same name that they found scratched onto one of the bedroom walls. Guy and Terry make more trips to the mansion, but the ghost of Greencastle does not reappear. However, the men capture two other images that are just as difficult to explain. The first is this photograph of what appears to be a woman in a flowing gown. Due to her intense color, she is known as the Gold Ghost. The second strange event occurs while Guy takes pictures of the mansion. Suddenly, three cloud-like shapes fly by. Is this merely fog or some type of mist? If so, it would need a strong breeze to travel this fast. But Guy's clothes and hair never move, indicating that no wind is blowing. 
Unfortunately, these and other questions may never be answered, because the mansion was destroyed to make way for this cornfield. But the memories of the Greencastle Mansion live on with Guy and Terry, who may have done the unthinkable. Captured images of visitors from the other side.